Hi friends, I'm going to week long trip but planning to do some work as well while be away from home so I have to pack my office in this backpack. Of course I will not bring all the ultra wide screens and so on or all the test devices but as iOS developer I need quite a lot of tech stuff to do my job. So let's figure out what is in my Tech Backpack 2021 and of course that is part of vacation as well. I will need some camera gear probably, definitely and yeah, drone maybe. Let's figure out what else is in my backpack. So let's go. Let's take a look inside my bag. Yeah, that's a backpack and I try to use different messenger bags, but those are just not handy. It's 30 liters model and it's enough to carry around all my stuff that is needed for daily work. I can open the bag from the top and have place here hoodie, something else, some clothes and better <laughs> so and uh, this bag is hard shell and all the gear inside is protected and I, I like that I have magnetic pockets here some hidden straps to strap something to the bag basically I can carry a lot in this bag I have this bag for about two years and probably I will change it someday soon so inside pocket I have a Gorilla tripod with holder for mobile phone and also I have some help for insects here. Gorilla tripods are nice and bad in the same time so better than nothing if I don't have normal regular tripod I I'm using this one in, and yeah, in trips I usually don't have a regular tripod with me. Okay, let's open the bag. On this side usually I have a camera, but currently I'm recording on this camera, so I can easy access the camera and start shooting photos when I'm walking around. Currently camera is on a tripod and I'm recording myself. Actually it doesn't matter where everything is going, everyone packed differently. I think more importantly is what I have with me. A remote for the drone. Drone DJI Mini. It's really small and easy to carry around drone and I like that you can fly with it almost everywhere. And battery pack for drone. Benefit for this battery, it works as battery power bank as well. So I can fly my drone and I can charge my accessories from this battery pack as well. Oh, so many insects, it's just horrible. Okay, but let's keep going. So, and I have two camera lens here as well. Currently I am recording on 15 to 35 mm lens, that is my favorite lens. I am recording most of the videos on this YouTube channel on this lens, but in my backpack I have another one. 24 to 105 lens is really really versatile because you can go quite wide with 24 mm and 105 mm is quite close already, a good zoom range. That lens is just brilliant and this lens is 50mm f1.8 uh, lens. This lens is nice for portraits and for low light photos. I am hoping to have some good photos with this lens from this night midsummer celebration. Yeah, we are stopping currently in cabin on seaside. We are about five minutes from sea and as you see we are in forest and we are here to spend our uh, midsummer holidays. So what else do we have here? Charger for iPhone and that is it from this side. 
and as outside, charger for my camera, batteries. This is really nice remote audio system, microphones, road. I don't remember how to name those, but receiver and uh, microphone set and I can use it to record video when I am a bit more far away from camera than currently I am. One more power bank slash light. This is portable LED light, quite powerful can switch to the different colors and work as power bank as well. Yeah, and one more charger. And yeah, on the sides we have a few more pockets. This one is ND filter. Who knows what is ND filter? Congrats. If you don't know, just do not care. Nothing important. Yeah, and here is a small pocket on this side as well. A few more cables and batteries for my camera. Two extra batteries. With those batteries I can go all day long um, recording videos or shooting photos. Yeah, and top access pocket, there is very interesting construction. You can close it right here and then this bag is quite small or you can pack it really full and close it like that or somewhere in the middle. With this one bag I can have everything that is needed for me for travel and I already was in several trips with this bag and I can fit all my gear and some clothes here as well. And in top pocket I have charger for my computer and touch pouch where I have all the necessary cables on this side, uh, Apple watch charger, uh, backup uh, headphones, wired headphones and different USB, USB-C and so on cables. This one very small external SSD drive. I'm using this for video editing and external hard drive. This one is two terabytes hard drive. I'm using it for backups, media and so on. And, uh, and this one is one terabyte SSD drive. This one Caldig hub. Really nice thing. I can read regular SD cards here from my big camera and I can read small SD cards or mini SD cards whatever those are named from my drone here I can connect my external drives in this way to my computer then I am ready for editing and here I have HDMI and DisplayPort outputs if I like to connect my computer to external monitor or TV in or Airbnb and B wherever we are staying. Okay, and now I left my this one pocket. Here is one more small pocket. AirPods Pro here. When I know that I will fly and especially for long flights or when I know that I will need to work for long hours, I would get my Sony MX4 for with me as well for better sound isolation, but AirPods Pro are good enough just to casually listen music, podcasts and so on or for to little bit block uh, the noise. Those are not perfect. Sony MX4 are much better, but okay -ish. and those works also very well to edit videos so one more USB-C cable one more iPhone charging cable <laughs> Android phone uh, just for one special project and just currently with me never had Android phone with me before and we'll see how long I will use it iPad that is not M1 iPad, that is 2020, uh, iPad Pro 12 inch one and iPad is really nice because it is a multi-purpose device, I can use it as for note taking, of course it is a little bit overkill for note ta taking when you are on flight but it is really handy for photo editing and I am editing quite a lot of photos when I am traveling and uh, it can work for video editing as well but computer is more convenient i am final cut pro user and 
I can edit uh, videos in LumaFusion, but I do not prefer to do that. And also it doubles down as external monitor for my MacBook, because 13 inch monitor is great, I like it, but screen is not really big and additional space really helps. So it works as external monitor as well. Last but not least in my bag that is 13 inch MacBook Pro M1. I love how fast it is ready to be up and running. That of course is my main machine for programming. Until we don't have uh, Xcode on iPad, I have to carry around with me MacBook. I I would love to go to the trips with iPad only, but currently it is not possible. So, and that is kind of tricky when you have to decide which one to bring with you, because uh, as you may see, size for those machines is about the same and the weight of those is about the same. This one has better support for different languages when I'm writing. Latvian writing on this one, on this one is much better. Apple Pen for handwriting or photo editing is really handy. A lot of benefits using iPados. But for programming tasks, video editing, all that stuff, MacOS still is much, much better. iPados is not near close. So until that is changed, I have to have bring this boy with me. And if I will need to choose which one will stay at home, that will be iPad. Okay guys, if you like this video, there is like button. Uh, let me know in comments what is your essential things in your touch bag. And uh, if you are not subscriber yet, hit that subscribe button as well. Thank you for watching. See you on next one. Bye.